Hey y'all, I'm Aeon. And I'm the Lioness. And you're listening to Box Number 512 Podcast. Grown Black Trans Woman Talk. Changing your world, one conversation at a time. The show begins now. Welcome to another installment of Box Number 512 Podcast. I am your co-host, Aeon. And I am the Lioness. How y'all feeling? Before we get to updates, it is a new month. Happy March, honey. We are closer to summer. Yes! the, The closer we are to summer, the closer we are to daylight savings, which I think is about two weeks. And I'm excited because I need all the daylight that I can get, bitch. Yes. The, usually the darkness getting early don't affect me, but for this this year, it's been particularly hard. So I'm excited that we're in March. Before we get to our updates, definitely have to give a shout out to all of our new patrons on, in the month of March. So I'll give a shout out to All About D, Abby, Sean Sean, Creston Carter, Maddie, Oyen. Carrie A, Lila Fayette, Devin Harris, Kevin Wendell, and Reggie. Thank you all for being patrons of Box Number Five Soul Podcast, Grown Black Trans Women Talks Patreon page. We uh, have new videos, that bonus videos, in addition to the regular content coming out in March. Also, we're working on doing some cool new projects for the summer, there'll be Patreon-only videos and Patreon-only events. We're in the process of working on it and scheduling it. And once we finalize our schedule, then we will let y'all know. Hopefully, we could do that this month, but we'll let y'all know so we can start planning for the summer and just having a good time and growing and evolving together. Also, shout out to all of the people on this our social media pages. We've been just putting out small clips of different videos that we've done just to get people into some of the content that we've done. And you guys have been so receptive to us. And so in the comments and the likes and just giving us feedback. And we're just like, like Lina said a couple of episodes ago, we don't do this for the money. We really do this to tell our stories, to create community, to liberate ourselves. So it feels really good to see that the things that we're talking about, that it's resonating with y'all and that y'all are really enjoying it. And we just want to continue to create good, genuine content. Yeah. Um, sis, did you have any um, thing you wanted to say? I did. I did. I did. We see you. I just want you guys to know that we see you um when we when when we do put up those clips on the pages i love to see the engagement i love to be the 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 way that you guys are giving us affirmations of love and support we are very very excited to have each and every one of you because we are just regular women doing what we do having the kinds of conversations that we always have and so it's just exciting that y'all are here on this journey with us and like you said, for those of you guys on Patreon, ooh, it's going to be some good things are coming. We got some juicy stories. We got some never before discussed topics. Y'all be ready. It's going to be awesome. And for those of you who haven't, just go like, like my sis said, just go on the Patreon and get with the program, honey. We got some good shit coming. And for my regular listeners, this episode, like many others, it's going to be a, a love fest and we just want y'all to enjoy and just have fun and get on this ride with us. Right. So thank, thank you all for supporting us. Definitely had to start this show and start this month out by shouting y'all out. Um, if you haven't become a patron yet, why well, have you not? Um, go on over to the box number 512 Patreon page and become a patron for as little as $5 a month. The link is in our show notes. Or if you go so to look our at me, girl, I'm over here doubling like no girl. <laughs> <laughs> if you go to our social media, the link is in our, the bio for our social media. So yeah, come on over, honey. Um, become a um, patron. Did I have anything else I wanted to announce? No, I don't think I had anything else I wanted to announce. Oh, 
for our one year anniversary episode that will be dropping in the middle of the month i think march the 19th whatever the week of the 15th whatever that friday is that's mm-hmm. when the episode will be coming out it will be hosted by the illustrious amani van zapp where we're just going to reflect on our journey together over this past year and love laugh reflect release relate um and also have some great commentary by amani van zapp of chasing reality fame uh if you guys want to send us letters or send us the voice messages make sure you send those to box number five so podcast at gmail.com that email is included in our show notes um so just make sure you send us those messages whether they be voice or written about how the podcast has impacted you over this um past year you could be trans you could be cis you could be hetero you could be homo um, you know, whoever you are, if you listen to our show and you support our show, write us in so we can include your message on the one year anniversary episode. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So now that we got all of the the that out the way, let's get to updates. Sis, did you want to go first? Um, sure. So um my life right now has been very very good um you know as far as just like the day-to-day is COVID so it's not much update there but before I go deeply into my life I want to say that one of the things that I've been missing in my life recently is my connection with other people the ability to go outside in public um I've been doing my own nails, going out and just having that experience of getting my feet and nails done by someone else. Um, just the the uh, just that socialization. And so I know I was skeptical on other previous episodes about Miss COVID vaccine, but the lioness has a card. I went and got my first COVID vaccination today, 3-2-2021. And um, it wasn't bad. So I do want to report. So what changed my mind? Let's start there. What changed my mind about the COVID shot um, today was my mom had gotten it. My dad had gotten it. My husband's uh, mother had gotten it. I had friends that had gotten it, I, you know, and particularly because I work in community with individuals that are um, immunocompromised and or dealing with any other chronic illnesses that could make them more liable to be get really sick. And so I run a nonprofit. I do this work. And I wanted to be able to go to events and participate and promote the things that I'm doing and push forward some of my initiatives. I have funding that I am kind of sitting on right now because I haven't been able to really implement how I want. Because a lot of the venues that I were that I was going to, even the nonprofit that I that was my fiscal sponsor, there's been a lot of changes because of COVID and restructuring and things. So the lioness needed to get back in the world and I got my shot. And so let me explain. So here in Georgia, um, there is a website. And if you guys will give me a moment, but um, and I'm going to pull it up while I'm talking. But the website, it was very easy. All I had to do was just go on, um, go on the website and they, I put in my information and they ask you a few questions. Now, currently the vaccine is supposedly only open for individuals that are um, 65 years or older, caregivers for those 65 years or older, and medical professionals and personnel and essential staff as designated by the different states. Well, the key thing that I don't think, I think when a lot of people hear it, when that, that they're missing is if you are a caregiver, <clears throat> excuse me, a caregiver for someone that is 65 years or older. So that doesn't necessarily mean that you are a certified caregiver giving care under a service. It means if you are living in the home, if you go and take care of, if you provide services to, if you are in regular contact with because of your either your job or your life with people that are 65 years or older, senior citizens, 
as designated by the law because we know 65 ain't all. I shout out to my mom and everybody. <laughs> I'm not, but you get what I'm saying. It, 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 what we need to remember is is that you need to you can go and get the shot so here in georgia why all you have to do is go on the website and you put in your information you put in your information just basic information about yourself or whatever you they ask you a, a, a minor health survey just basically have you ever had any allergic reactions to medications are you pregnant are you nursing you know the basic general questions and i received a date I looked on the website and Raza, before this conversation, there is wide open scheduling in Georgia. Now, the catch is not in Atlanta. I had to drive an hour and a half to Clarksville, Georgia. Bitch! Bitch, I had to drive an hour and a half to Clarksville, Georgia. But I'm just saying for those that might be interested to get my shot, but there's one in Albany. There's one in... Uh, Girl, ain't Albany past uh, making this thing? There's one in Columbus. There's one in Habersham. There's okay, I can, I can do Columbus, bitch. Yeah, there's one in... Um, but I have to be a Georgia resident to do, to do this. So this is the catch. This, my COVID shot was administered by the government. Mine was issued by the military. All they asked is that you be a, you, they didn't, they weren't checking for residency. They were checking for age. They didn't ask for verification documents. They just wanted motherfuckers to get their injections. When you pull up, you turn your, you turn your um, car to a radio station. You drive through, it's soldiers, nothing but soldiers running this whole operation. It's complete United, United States military. So apparently what Biden said about pushing out those vaccines, Apparently, girl, <laughs> they are doing it because they have this mass site on a camp on a on it was on a um a fairground and the entire fairgrounds is this like car like drive area. But here's so if you do that, you don't need an appointment. You can just pull up. No, no, no. You need to schedule the appointment online using the the at, at okay. the, the conference. You can, but it's wide open as far as the times you can schedule. Because, of course, because we're in Georgia and Georgia's wide the fuck open, people aren't taking the, the shots as seriously. So whereas in other states, you have backups for people waiting to get injection and get theirs. Image. I was able to get my, my entire process done faster than I have ever gotten any burger at any fast food restaurant in my life. That was the best experience I've ever had dealing with any type of medical thing that was so damn efficient. I lied to you not. You drive. It, it, they, when I say no way, I'm talking about they make Popeyes look bad today. Everybody who go to Popeyes, you know, if you're not ordering just regular ass chicken, you order chicken tenders or anything that just ain't in that little hot heat thing, they finna make you wait like 20 minutes. Not to mention the weight of long of, of African Americans that you're waiting with to get to this the window. And then when you pay for your food and they tell you pull over to the side, you know you're gonna wait like another 20 more minutes. How about I was in and out of that thing within 30 minutes tops? And the only reason why it took longer than that was because you have to sit after you get your injection for a period of time so they can monitor you. So basically you sitting in the car girl as soldiers in the parking lot of this fairgrounds. There's soldiers at the top of each row of the parking lot. And if you have a problem, you honk your horn and raise your hand, girl, if you if they feel like you have an, an attack. Nothing happened, we peeled out, it was tea. But let me tell you, you know, as a trans woman, there's always a uniqueness, bitch. So we go through the process and we get to the first stop. The first stop is this man. Now this white soldier walks over and he's very young and very studious with his glasses. He walks over, the white guy. And this other guy looks in the car window, looks at me and then and then looks at me, does the homeboy kind of almost head nod, but kind of caught himself because my husband is also staring him in the fucking face. <laughs> so he catches himself and then he runs over and is like, yeah, I'm training him. I'm training him. I'm training him. Um, yeah, so... Um, 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 so he's like, oh, damn, y'all eyes. Now he's complimenting. He's trying to compliment me, but he's having to compliment my husband too. So he's like, damn, y'all eyes so pretty. Y'all, 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 y'all a nice couple. Y'all a nice couple. So he's like trying to, so 
they're at my husband's window first. I'm in the passenger seat. He's in the driver's seat. They're at his window first. He does his information. There's a QR code that you get from the website that they scan, just confirming that you're registered for your appointment. He's, they scan the QR code and that, that. So I go to hand my information over. He goes, no, 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 man, we coming over there to you. We coming to you. We coming over there. So he comes over to my door. Now, mind you, all of the questions that they ask you, like, do you consent to this test? I was answering it out of the window with my husband, but he wanted my ID and he wanted to have this closer conversation. So now, my- Thank you for listening to another episode of Fox Number 5's podcast, Grown Black Trans Women Talk. And don't forget to become a patron on the Box Number 512 Patreon page, where we have all new exclusive content. And also, don't forget to follow us on our social media, on our Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook pages. And also, become a subscriber on our YouTube page. Until next time, bye. Bye.